We set up a time to meet prior to when we start. When you show up three minutes before you start. I was here. I was trying to get this thing situated. It sucks. I show up typically an hour before the show. Yeah, tell the people why their time is invaluable. Just like that, you're listening to the most downloaded HVAC entertainment podcast in the world. Welcome to the HVAC Overtime Show. As always, I'm here. Chris is here. Joe is here. We're your hosts. We're going to hang out tonight and do some shit. I'm starting to wonder whether we're just the normal hosts now. Although, although, I will say that I'm going to be absent next week. So, Fucking son of a bitch. It might it's like a road. It's like, what was that? that uh, what's that website called? Um chat roulette it's like host mm. roulette here on the overtime show you never know who you're <laughs> gonna get so when i when i told adam in the group the other day that i was gonna be missing a few more shows at, and said like maybe you know every couple weeks i'll miss a show or something like that and adam's like i'm kind of sad i think he was sad because he wanted to miss a few shows mm -hmm. <laughs> see adam has this whole new life behind the scenes that you guys don't know about yet one day you'll know more about it when we're yeah. allowed to talk about it but right now we're not and so all the family new friends he's got new clothes he's got a new girl in town that sort of deal and we're he just does, old he news. does not have a new girl in town adam is spending time with his family he's yeah, prioritizing his he family says. is what he's yeah. doing so don't let good good for him rumors. i guess we should be happy <laughs> for him he's he's in a good he's in a good space in his in his life exactly. right now a good mental space so we're happy for you, Adam, wherever you are in this crazy world. You know, what's funny is we've all been working on ourselves lately, and I feel like we're all in a better place with like from six to eight months ago. We are all in a better place right now. We've all been like, you know, prioritizing the important things and I guess dealing with that spots going on, man. Yeah. Now that Bill's over here brushing his beard, trying to make his nose hairs hit his mustache hairs. <laughs> I know so long. Read us. The minimus bucket says I made a water heater from a brace plate, heat exchanger, a circ pump, and a window shaker. I'll try to remember to post pics in the Facebook group. That'll be amazing. That's crazy. Yeah. Do Question that. is, is what's the actual? It, it it heats. It works. But what's the efficiency? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the question. That's the question. Is it better than what Lowe's sells or not? If not, I don't want to hear nothing about it ever it again. Helps. If you're I, a single I, guy, just watching this might work. What's up, Jesus Fish? Michael Hausch in the house. Chris Marku. You guys know him? At... Yeah. Huh. Yep. I don't remember that. I remember Avatar looks familiar, but I don't remember that name. Uh the Avatar's new. He hasn't uh he he's oh, been around right. for a long time, but I think the yep. Avatar's new. Yeah, I think What's it was up, Chipmunk, different. Freon Leon, Susie Dunn, David Johnson. You know what? Class. I always forget. Let me get this out of the way real quick, and then we can get to your class. Randy Ravioli, what's up, bud? I always forget almost all the way through the end of the show. Uh, but, hey, real quick, too, another thing. Well, I got the mic before Chris hijacks the entire show for the rest of the <laughs> uh, One of the things that we don't often do on this show is we don't often let you guys peer into our super secret chat that, you know... No, we're not going to go. We're not doing this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking. That's for our eyes only. But hey, no, anyway, real quick. What I wanted to say was um, tomorrow, I think Big Clive's going to be on. I think he's doing every other Saturday now. So yeah. Big Clive, he'll pop up in the chat here somewhere. Make sure you go watch him. There's a There's been like an ass load of new HVAC um, channels popping up and like shows popping up. Like, I don't know what's going on in the algorithm if they've been around for a while. 
but just i don't know who these people are but they're there's a like a super tech jumper tech like all these new guys that are just popping up all over the place but also check out some of our other friends like um what's his name pat finley he'll be in the chat here a little while he's got a show on wednesdays usually the you great vine you got misfits the on misfits saturday, That's saturday year, nights tomorrow. at nine the great vine with a bunch of smart nerds christopher yep. uh, hughes and uh usually it's the same cast of guys chris hughes eric kaiser and, and uh michael cm franco yeah that's the other guy yeah yep. yeah yeah does uh old zach Sioda, does he still do a live stream that's a good question I don't he hasn't know. popped up in my algorithm in quite some time do you remember when it was just zach john ralph and was there like any other the streams I, not that, I think I remember. That, that weird guy from uh alabama or something uh he had glasses john. Oh, no. what's the oh, dude yeah. that, um, yeah. that yeah. guy with the, the satellites? The jogging yeah. pants guy. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember yeah. his name. Uh, what yeah. was his name? What was jogging pants guy's name? He always yeah, looked like he was going to be like just a, a stand in or a background actor for some sort of Golden Corral commercial or some sort of Chinese <laughs> buffet commercial. Like he's the guy in the background with a, a rope holding up his jogging pants. Yeah. I don't know yeah. which guy you're talking about. I think it's someone different than who I was no, talking about. But... Well, it's the same guy, the guy I was, think. The guy who sold his uh stuff to Ted or Ted went to go buy it just because just cause. Yeah. Man, if I could think of his and then guy. Ted. Ted used to do streams all the time too. Ted's not doing streams anymore, is he? Is he doing the giveaway streams? It's been a while since oh, I've I, seen him. No, I don't think, I think so. I seen one pop up maybe a two weeks Have ago you guys or something. Noticed? Maybe. I don't know if you've noticed this, but YouTube, I notice it in my my views and my numbers. Like the algorithm does weird crap, and just because of you're course, subscribed mm -hmm. to someone, you don't see their content yeah. anymore. Like you have to yeah. actively watch their yeah. content for it yeah. to pop up in your feed. So and you know, like my alerts have. I don't know what's going on with the algorithm either, but my alerts just don't seem to be alerting no. me correctly yeah. anymore. Yeah, no problem. Because I have certain channels set to alert me when new video videos pop up, like HVACR videos. Yeah. Ching ching. But uh, I don't get. The alerts for some odd reason yeah a lot of people oh, yeah. don't I, I see it in the comments like and it, it it's a natural progression that happens with the channel too because views will go they'll peak and then they go down and they go up they like yeah. they do all kinds of weird stuff but but especially now they're way down for like everybody mm -hmm. i i can go look yeah. at other channels and i'm like holy crap everybody's views are down so equest says the same thing so i know it's true he's like yes youtube has been weird for the last couple of months so you know 100 yeah. percent roof well youtube that, really that, that, really is penalizing content creators that are not prioritizing mm -hmm. short form content so like i don't prioritize short form content like short form is just every once in a while but youtube wants you to make that up, number one yeah and I you know what that. i think a lot of these hvac shows and videos need they need more ass jiggling if they yeah. want to fit in the world, if they want to progress in the YouTube and short form content world, they need to have a lot more ass jiggling, and probably a lot less nerdy stuff. Yeah. Just saying, Christopher Hughes, I'm looking at you. What's up, Brett? <laughs> I see Advanced Refrigeration Podcast in here. Brett the Wet Pretzel. Yep. Lots Another of great people in here. Jason Johnson. Jason's He's been not, putting a lot of content oh, yeah. up on YouTube too. What's Jason and I were talking yep. the other day because Jason Brian. worked on a lot of uh, train equipment. And so, uh, I was messaging Jason and he was giving me some tech manuals and stuff. Pretty cool. It's awesome to have this community that we What's can up, all reach What's up, Ryan? Absolutely, Hughes, man. It's absolutely, Chris. If you do, if you I guys, got that before. Bill cut you off the more I got you. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys have been living under a rock, Ryan Hughes is one of the halves of yeah. Misfits. They'll be on tomorrow night at 9. Yep. Go check them out. Sure. So what do you guys, um, uh, what do you guys have to talk about? What did you guys do this week? Anything fun? Um, you know, this week picked up for me. Uh, a bunch of service calls came in. Uh, everybody was pretty busy all week, which it's Good. been slowly picking up. It's been kind of nice. I've got some is it, content. So is it like the the shoulder seasons out there? Is it kind of like not I'd say hot that, enough there, not cold enough? You know that sort of deal. You know, this is the first year that this shoulder season has been like this as bad as, bad as it is, um, because it, a lot of customers are cutting out routine maintenance. And we don't have a very big heating season here, right? Because we only get, you know, our design temperatures like 37 degrees, but that's, that's rare, right? So normally our winters are like 48 to 68. Yeah. Our winter Your winters are like our fall. Yeah. And so like, we're not, we don't like, I probably got like, I, I kid you not four, 
no heat calls Phoenix. this whole winter. So, you know, we don't get a lot of that stuff. So, yeah, it's been a little slow, but I mean, we're fine. What do I do with that? You know? is. What's a P neck? Yeah. Is, is a P neck like, you know how Joe wears V necks, but is a P neck where instead of a V, it's shaped like a penis that goes all the way down your chest? Is that a P neck t shirt? Is that what you're talking about? Sure. That That's exactly what he's talking about, though. Huh. That's a weird um, shirt to wear in public. Yeah. Same thing. House says he's he's been steady but he's been getting time in the office which is nice and it's kind of the same i've been having more time in the office and doing what do you guys th stuff. think of prolon and those those um those automation uh on some rooftops i never i never worked on one no yeah, idea what I was have them. no idea uh, i see no idea uh yeah. that dave sounds johnson. like a new fancy kind of shampoo yeah dave johnson says restaurants generate enough heat and that's exactly the truth you know oftentimes yeah. if a customer goes to their thermostat because a uh you know someone complains that it's too cold and they turn the heater on then what they're going to do in my area because we have such a mild climate is they're going to create a yo-yo problem where they turn the heat on then someone's going to complain it gets too hot so then they turn the <laughs> air conditioner down when in reality my customers when it's cold all they need to do is turn the air conditioning off and the yeah. dining room and the people in the dining room and the body heat will raise the building temperature in no time you know, it's very rare that we actually need heat. It, you know, occasionally, but nothing like See, everybody else. So that's why around here, I think uh, econ that's the only time economizers work, or the only the only situation economizers actually do any good is in restaurants. Yeah, they're, they're right now they've got this trend with these new economizers. They're coming preset um, on the carrier package units that are set to what Department of Energy wants them to be set at. And so basically you have to buy equipment to be able to program it properly. It's that same carrier one hmm. that you tried to do, Bill, where you were looking at the display, but I have like a little dongle that you can plug in. They set, oh, the, yeah. they set the bypass temperature at like 72 degrees. So the economizer oh, wow. opens at like 72. I'm like, no, set it, it to was like it, 55. It, was it you telling me about this or maybe somebody else? I don't remember. There's an economizer out there. Oh shoot! It's uh, I think it's got the Siemens control, maybe. Yeah, that's the one um, you're talking about. Is it the one where you can just type in the zip code of wherever that unit is and it programs itself? Yeah, technically that's what you're supposed to do. You set it up uh, for the zip, yeah. or you do GPS location. Now, in reality, if they have it set up as a two-stage economizer where it runs the <laughs> compressor and the outside air temperature, that's fine. But most of the buildings that I work at, in all reality we don't really want the economizer opening very much and we just want it kind of set at a minimum position uh, because Justice they're using them out. as a uh, makeup air for the building balance and you kind of don't really want the economizer opening up because these customers don't have full um the makeup airs aren't variable right, right? so mm -hmm. if the economizer opens all the way and brings in a crap ton of outside air the makeup air is not putting enough you know it, it just becomes a problem the exhaust fans aren't variable it yeah, just bounces off. Hey, no, you no. guys in the chat, what's your preferred, I guess is the best way to say it. What's your preferred economizer controller? Honeywell. Blimo, Siemens, Jade, Honeywell. Jade revolutionized economizers because it made it super simple for simple-minded people like me to be able to like just look at it and say, boom, 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 done. Yeah, I'm only really familiar at the basic level with the, uh, the uh, Cube Honeywells and um, a little bit so, of the Jades, I guess. Great point. So Brett says, don't some of those facilities have barometric relief? Yeah, the economizers yeah. do have barometric relief. But here's the problem. With the building pressures, the barometric relief doesn't open because of the building pressures. It doesn't open fast mm -hmm. enough. So the idea of barometric or the barometric relief says is that if the building pressure gets to a certain pressure, it's going to open uh, yeah. a damper you know, on the economizer and dump the outside air or dump the building air, the overpressurization out it doesn't work that way. It doesn't travel through the ducts because they don't account for the static pressure in the duct work. And it just doesn't add up before it creates a problem in my experience. So um, mm. now if it was designed and engineered that way, I think it would work a million times better, but you know, they're just not that great. You know, it was cool this week. I, uh, I did a little bit of a side gig. Shh, don't tell anybody. I did a little bit of a side you job know, this Bill, week. Side gigs can be, you know, you really got to think about. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> yes, Dad. Funny in chat what you said. Yes, um, Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Let's give some context here. So Bill yeah. proceeded to tell us that he hey, was going to do some side work, but.
before he said, hold on, I know what Chris is going to say. Chris mm -hmm. is going to start telling me, be careful. You better have insurance. Yeah, Make you sure you wear your helmet. Make sure your harness is on. And then I left Bill a really nice comment, but he was he couldn't figure out how to download it. That's a good point. Yeah, I should have downloaded that. Let me see if I can find it. You guys keep talking. What was the side gig? Can you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, uh, I went to work on this um, this Grove facility. You know, it's a it's a state run, not a state run, I guess. Something to do with the state. Like they're a state dispensary in my state because it's legal. So like they dispense to all the. Um, the medicinal places they're not a caregiver they don't sell directly to consumers right mm -hmm. and th this place was just massive like i pulled into the parking lot and immediately my whole body was full of weed like i was i was high contact buzz like everything i was like this is amazing i'm like swimming in fumes of weed and then we get in the building and it's even stronger and then uh i proceeded to do my stuff and um uh, it went really really well but Man, these grow ops, dude. Like, at least this one, like, just, I mean, it's a multi million dollar facility. Oh, yeah. It has to be. Like, they, they took a giant warehouse. I mean, massive fucking warehouse. They gutted it and they basically sealed up a building inside of this building. They have <laughs> walls that are, I seen some of the panels. The walls are eight inch thick, blown oh, yeah. in foam. And, like, that's what they're made of. It's literally a building inside of a building, sealed tight. Like, um, I you know, all the grow rooms are sealed. Like it's, I was, I was asking the guy, I'm like, you know, who did your, cause they, or they obviously, like I said, they gutted the building, repurposed it into this. And I was like, who did your load calculations? And like, how is that working out for you? And he's like, uh, he didn't know who did it. And he, he wasn't the owner. He's just the guy running the place. But he's like, you know, I don't know how they came up with these numbers. I don't know how they picked out this equipment, but it ain't enough. Like they did the load calc wrong. Like we got so much heat being Gosh. generated in these rooms from the plants, the people, the lights, the equipment, the machines, the fans, the everything. And like, these uh and because they're running split systems i don't like oh two, two ton split systems for each room i guess um mm. i wasn't allowed to go in the rooms because they're um it's not chop time i guess but um he's Is like he yeah just demification or um uh, sorry cut you off demification well, he, or no he URF? he said they have uh they have dehumidification have. but yeah. um and he was kind of rambling off a little bit of the setup but uh i don't know i don't know how this setup really works I'm pretty sure you'll be back there seeing what this setup is. It's gonna be a lot of oh, work going yeah. on. Right? Yeah, there's there's a there's a bunch of um I mean, gosh, there must have been 50 condensers up on the roof, just little condensers oh, for yeah. all the all the split systems. And then they have mini splits in some of the smaller rooms. And then I think also, judging by the amount of mini splits that I saw, they had mini splits to sort of supplement oh. the um the rooms that maybe were too much heat for the uh, split system that was already in there. Hmm. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot. So were we I'm, doing I'm like, uh, what was your service call? Sorry, Chris. What was oh, oh we just had to change out some compressors on these, uh, split units. I know that there's some grow ops really that good. have a lot of money behind them and they have legitimately engineered systems and they like really, really have good equipment, like properly designed. But then I hear that there's a lot of grow ops that are literally people just buying mini splits and throwing them in a room and being like, mm -hmm. yeah, I got to and buying some like they tend to spend more money on lights is what I hear than they actually do the HVAC equipment. Again, yeah, what I hear, I was listening someone. I don't know if it was on Misfits or if it was someone else's podcast where they had two people. It was like a husband and wife and they had a company that specialized in making grow up. I swear it might have been Misfits. And um it was list interesting listening. I think they were in Colorado too, and they were telling the story. And it was interesting because they were like, "It's, it's, you know, some of them are really nice setups, and some of them are just real janky setups." So they I swear that up. was Misfits. I think it was. Was that Misfits, Ryan? I'm almost positive it was. Mm -hmm. um, mechanical environments, reliable. I don't know what people. Uh, um, Somebody else. Yeah. Said, anyways. Uh over time oh well, it was grapevine house said it was the grapevine show you're grapevine. right it was the grapevine show yeah that was grapevine that's oh. right so yeah there you go 100 oh. um cool, oh i see everybody's saying but yeah no that was an interesting thing so um but you know if people truly do care about the product and what they're making like they really need to engineer those systems and spend the big bucks to have proper 
you know, humidification, dehumidification when they need it at the certain times instead of just winging it and throwing a mini split on it. Oh, well, see, I'm real curious to know if there's been any sort of, and maybe it's still too new of an of a concept yet. Um, like, has there been any, any sort of like documents coming out, like books or like uh, a manual W for manual weed to figure out how to do grow house? <laughs> manual W. <laughs> yeah, we need a manual W. Manual to, weed. To, to you figure guys, out how to do these grow outs. Someone man. get a hold of Aka, tell them that they need to get a manual W out there. And but Bill needs credit yep. for coming up with the name. Hundred <laughs> percent. I get fifty cents off every dollar. Oh man, that's Tom so Letch actually posted a couple of videos a little while ago. He was working at I, I think he I don't know if he designed or he was working at one grow up. He put a couple of VRVs in there. Yeah, Tom has uh he works on a lot of big stuff, man. Yeah. You know, for someone that came into the scene, you know, Tom never really talked about very much of the you know in the beginning when tom was like coming into the scene and the chat and everything he was more or less talking about how he was an automotive ac mechanic yeah right he was, yeah, he's yeah. so much bigger than that he's just a humble dude and now he's sharing he more humble. and more yep. but uh yeah he's a cool Smart dude met guy. him a couple times too really nice guy him he met him in Chicago. person so yeah um he went to symposium right he was at a, a symposium and i'm pretty sure i met him at an hr too um i know i met his son once i'm pretty sure uh cool dude so Frame board um, to, uh, to no heat, 80 volts, install new ignition board, carefully installed and correct new hot surface igniter. 80 volts on a hot surface igniter. I never, uh, it shouldn't be 80 volts. It should be at least 102, I'm assuming. 103, 104 usually they start. You're going to play it? You play it now. Hold on. What Bill's got the message. Oh, okay. All right. So let's rewind the show. Let's recap a little bit of what I was talking about previously when I was yeah. I was going through this thought process of going to do this side gig, and I was going to tell all my bestest friends in our super secret chat right there. You could have saw some nasty stuff. I don't think Train had a Michael, though. You're right. But I don't think Train cares about Train. Why are we talking about HVAC in the show, Joe? I know. You, you know, guys caught me off in a good question. Jeez, we're going to have a good that. discussion. Do You're talking about somebody put a phone well, conversation up. Somebody's talking about. It. Right. I think we're well. Thing. Wait, we're, how about that? How about you wait? We're we're, le we're leading into a gaggle of I'm dicks. Not leading versus, nowhere. We're leading into versus gargling igniter. dicks. Gaggle Train. of dicks versus gargling Voyager. dicks. Like which is better to say? Which is which funner to say? Kind of finicky sometimes. Which is funner to do, and which is something you would just watch instead of actually doing yourself. Watching a gaggle of dicks cross the street or watching just people gargle dicks. But hundred percent, there's some things that I would watch that I would never try. But you yeah. want with like. Okay. Huh. I mean, I'd watch a gaggle of dicks. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't like stuff getting in my beard, so I probably wouldn't be gargling no dicks. Yeah, that's a great point. Brian Sanders brings up a really good point. You might get the shits, Joe, so don't want to let your, your blood pressure get too high. That's a good point. You know that Joe. when Joe's oh, blood no. pressure gets too high, he just has explosive diarrhea. So It just liquefies, like immediately. He just boils up inside, and he just... It's just, yep. it's like an air bleeder. Just that's what, fart right your, and that's, what, that's what I was trying to get to. Uh, they do. Sorry, use Joe. Money, but these guys are right. Someone. Okay, cool. So 80 <laughs> was too low for a train boy. Is your, okay, thank and you, Jason. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Guys. Joe Fudicioso is like, fucking hey, this went gay quick. Yeah. Hey, just, just like that, bro. The gay will get you. you. Yep. But yeah, what were you guys saying about this? Uh, or should this I say like, just like that? Is that how they do it? The gay will get you. Well, here's the problem, though, Bill, is that you're laggy. So to us, it just went like, like that. You didn't oh, do the like the fucking the bullshit. Yeah, fucking shit. Anyway. All right. So finish your story in the the audio file. And I'm in your ear. You guys hear that? Like you, you put it closer to the mic. And it's your inner conscience. I am your inner conscience. But give the context first. I know. See? Oh yeah. So this is just going in circles. This is just talking in circles. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Before I went and did this side gig, I was having this pretend conversation in my head about telling my bestest friends in the whole wide world in the super secret chat that I was going to go do a side gig under my own little like legitimate company that I started, right? And this little side shit deal, right? And I was like, you know what? I want to tell them. But then I also played the conversation back in my head. I'm like, if I tell them, then Chris is going to jump on immediately, even though he hasn't checked the chat all day. But as soon as I send this, he'll jump on immediately and be like, oh, make sure you got your insurance settled up. You might not want to do this. There's a lot of liability in this. Like, what if this happens? And what if that happens? And then I'm like, I just don't even want to tell him anymore. And then I'm, I, I think I went into something like telling Chris that he's a father figure to me. Yep. And then I left him this message. And it made me happy to know that I'm in his head. Yeah, let me play it here. See, 
I don't even have to tell you things and I'm in your ear already. Like you already know what I'm going to say and it's your inner conscience. I am your inner conscience. I'm like that little devil that's on your shoulder, except for I'm like in you, like in you, in you. Ooh. And you know, I'm part Ooh. of you now. Like we Ooh. are one. I'm so far in you. We are one. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> You ever been inside somebody so far, <laughs> so deep that you're like, we are one? Gabe oh. says George Michael ringtone, and that's a George Michael theme that we just listened to. But yeah, you're right. It, the, the, on the gay. plus side, though, you're not going to catch me in a Southern California beach bathroom doing anything crazy in the stall. like they did Exactly, Freon so. Leon. So far in your ass. That's <laughs> my first thought. In you, in you. Anyways, Jason, since you got that part number, do you know the resistance on on cold on those HSIs on those? What are they? Uh, silicon carbide. How is that? So the, like, that's too confusing. People need a visual to start talking about resistance values of hot surface igniters. Hey. Yeah, why do we need to know the resistance value of a hot surface igniter? Check it to see if it's good. Have we yeah. been to P Diddy parties? What about that? That's dude. That's like full mm. Jeffrey Epstein stuff coming down. Like that's bad. So, Diddy did do it. Yeah. Did he do it? I don't know. Did he? Who knows? I don't know. It's some bad Diddy stuff. Did it. Just everywhere now. That's some bad stuff. So you were asking. Yeah, uh, Steve. I think this it's a little week, high, but yeah. Um, we had a few calls, right. but I. You're just fucking rambling with people in the chat. Nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about. Nobody. Give us some context here, Joe. That's your problem, Joe. You're just like a rain man counting toothpicks over here. What do you guys will have conversation, HVAC conversation? We're just going to have HVAC conversation with the chat. You guys have your own. I have my own. One time. Think about the podcast, One time I said a noun instead of a verb. You got to There was this one time I dropped a book in the library and everybody heard me. Adams, 40 and 90. Ohms. That's why I know his title. Okay, go ahead, guys. See, We're having a but great now you're just throwing numbers out there. Like, if you have a, a hot surface igniter, then risk that resistance goes from like 100 to 40. Like, and you don't know for sure. Like, you have to know exactly what the manufacturer says. 80, 90, around there. I mean, that still seems like a lot, especially if they're using that hot surface igniter as some sort of flame sensor cold, as well. Cold. Cold? I mean, why is such a why? Why is there such a range if it's called forty to ninety? Well, ask the fucking manufacturer. Exactly, that's what I just said. Ask the uh, manufacturer. Uh, you guys are talking about train. They're not going to share any of their vital know, information. I know, it's going to be hard enough to even dicks. get the resistance values. Yeah, absolutely. Bunch of and, dicks and they won't there. tell you that their VFDs that's are important. Danfoss, but you know, if what? They won't tell you that their VFDs are Danfoss, and you could just look oh. up the Danfoss information or call Danfoss. But that's funny because I was talking to Jason Johnson about that because I could clearly tell that when I was having an issue with one of their VFDs, it was a Danfoss. So I just found a Danfoss manual and was reading the Danfoss manual. So, I mean, or you just buy a new one and test that, and then boom, Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, you could, I guess. My God. We well, start changing cat. parts, and then if you oh, change it, cat? it's still bad. God. They're gone. They left. Come here. Come on. Amp Come it on. out. How much are the amps? No, your cat won't listen Three, to four you. four amps. Oh. That's a good question. And it's, it's not a lot of amps. My nice cat yeah. right here. She's sitting outside my door meowing because my <laughs> no. daughter's left, and she can't get in her room. Oh, it's because yeah. she's lonely. Yeah, she's lonely, and she's just going to sit right here and chill. She's just... My little oh, cat. that's a nice cat. It's not running away like no. Uh, this is the nice Mongolian. one. This one is actually not a devil cat. Mm. All right, get out it's of here. It's a lap cat. Yeah. Okay. Good. You want in? Hold on. Hmm. Let's just you know leave the show did to play you, with yeah, a cat. Okay. Did you see the post? Is somebody in HVAC overtime posted about a um? He came across Cody showers. I have this down actually. Cody showers posted hmm. about he went to go a boiler call. And uh, they had a handyman there, and somebody this it was like 90 degrees inside the house, and somebody uh hooked up a ring doorbell or something, some kind of doorbell, and he stole power from a wire to get constant power, I guess, for this ring doorbell, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he did some other wiring and he 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 powered up a zone valve 24/7, like all the time open. So I guess it made the dry contact to the boiler come on, or I don't know how the details, but I'm assuming that's what happened. And the boiler was constantly running. It was like 90 degrees in the house. Why did the doorbell he... with a boiler? What? Yeah, handyman went in there. This oh, wiring. Okay, yeah. context. A handyman well, went in. Dude is here. You're busy with your pussies. 
How about that? Handyman, bro. You said someone went in and started, and, and there oh, was handyman, no contact. Handyman. Handyman. So a handyman went in there, messed up the wiring, screwed up the boiler, and oh, yeah, I hooked up the doorbell with um. The, uh, <laughs> so every boiler. time you hit the door, the boiler would come on. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think he just used the constant power. Yeah, just use it for but power. That's what I was thinking, Bill. Did they uh, figure out like? Ding, did ding, he do it by mistake up. or did he do it on purpose? You know, just to be a Dude. dick. Who knows? Who knows? You know, you know like maybe he's there. like, "Fuck these people in their stash of candy bars. I'm gonna melt everything." <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, Joe. And switch or something, and it's own valve open and switch made, and the boiler was coming on, and it was like 90 degrees in there, and people were complaining. Mm -hmm. and he figured out like that's a good find. Like you have to dig hard, you have to dig a little bit. It took maybe a couple hours, a couple hours, I'm sure. Oh, but you know something. Of Speaking of thinking, I had. <laughs> um I'm going to be politically correct here. I had a retarded moment yesterday when I was doing this side gig. <laughs> right. That's what it's called, right? It was, it was like I was half retarded last night doing this side gig. And I don't know if it's because I was getting a contact buzz or what the deal was. But I was working with another guy. And on these condenser systems, they have like what I would consider like a poor man's low ambient kit, right? They have a high pressure switch on. They're just cycling the fan on and off based on your high pressure, right? And we were hooking everything back up. And for whatever reason, I'm looking at these thermostat wires, you know, the thermostat wires coming from the unit downstairs. And I'm, I'm thinking that for whatever reason, there's constant 24 volts there all the time. And he's like, you got to hook it up through this pressure switch, this, this, and this. I'm like, if I do that, dude, the fan's going to run all the time. Yes, it will cycle, but the fan's going to run all the time because it's got constant 24 volts. And he's, and for whatever reason, I just couldn't grasp the concept of this pressure switch cycling the condenser fan motor. And then I realized like, Oh yeah, there's not constant 24 volts going to it. It's only with a call for cooling. But I was like, and then it was, it was one of those moments where it was something so simple. And he's explaining it to me, and he's just looking at me. He's like, "How are you not understanding this?" And I'm like, <laughs> "I don't know what's wrong with my brain right now." <laughs> yeah, so, it was nuts. I've got this. Uh, we're not going to mention names, but I've got this serial commenter on my channel <laughs> that absolutely despised like he despises my brazing and he constantly <laughs> sends me every time i show brazing uh, he, he always tells me you're not brazing right you need to learn how to braze and your braze joints will look better and then he's like begged me please 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 learn how to braze right mm -hmm. so then this one time he's like here's a video for reference this will teach you how to braze it was literally wow. a youtube clip from this old house on oh how to solder God. plumbing pipes yeah with that fat guy oh my it you was serious? hilarious yes oh. right? and this so so anyways bill happened to be reading one of my comments and he's like bro this guy's like blowing you up and i'm like mm. oh that guy's been blowing me up for like three years dude i just let him be because the dude just keeps watching my videos but it's hilarious dude but you oh, know so now that i see it like it's that's it's hilarious. it's been pretty constant like anytime you braze in a video oh, he's yeah. like oh he's right there and, and like, here's the funny thing i've never said i know how to braze I just know how no, to make it not leak. You know how to braze. <laughs> That's all I do. But oh, I would speak. like to challenge some people that criticize brazing when you're doing a joint in an ice machine with insulation all around it and wires all around it, and you have to make right. it hot and fast. You got to be in yeah. and out you know, as fast as you can, and and you know solder drips down. Like, come on, man! I'm not over I'm, here spending I'm hours trying to make a perfect braze joint. Like, no, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say I was brazing up on this roof uh, last night, right? And uh, it was the first time I ever used a rosebud tip too, which was kind of neat. It gets, man, it gets hot real fast. It gets, yeah. it gets hot a lot faster than what I'm used to. Um, but that wasn't really a big problem. But what I forgot to do was put something underneath because I was brazing in the dryer and the dryer's right next to the condenser. And I didn't put anything underneath. And uh, there was like a little ball of uh, a solder that popped off the end of it for whatever reason when I was putting on there. And it, it just like hit the rubber and just kind of like, curse splat so it's like molt, little tiny pieces of molten yeah. silver everywhere oh, yeah. on this rubber roof so i'm like brushing with my hand trying to get it. i'm like fuck i should have put something down a piece of metal or something to i just didn't even think about it yeah i'm thinking of grabbing one of those blankets because you know what honestly like chris I should, mentioned, yeah, I should have one dude right the viper um yeah uh, refrigeration technologies has their heat yeah. shield that thing is badass yeah. you can get it wet or dry my my guy cool. will loves that thing man he's i wonder if if you have that like if out. i put that down 
Because the way I was brazing, I was brazing like pretty close to the rubber roof. But if I had that down, would it p- keep the heat off the rubber roof or would yeah. the heat transfer yeah. through it and still? Well, eventually it'll transfer through, but it's not going to catch on fire. And and you can literally like just you'll be fine. Just be quick about it or mm. put some uh, put a wet towel on the ground or um, some of the heat blocking putty, the the Viper wet rag stuff. That yeah, stuff you're right, Ryan. Ground. I I felt like I was on the very hairy edge of uh melting some copper last night but i pulled it i pulled it off uh oh, free on leon says that. he burnt through it dry if you burnt through that dry bro you were really putting the torch tip on there because i've i've heated that thing up crazy hot burnt and, I mean, dry. it starts, to, starts oh, to like oh, yeah. singe it and stuff but i haven't burnt through it but i didn't just sit there and hold it on there so. right so it could take i'm assuming it takes a lot of heat though yeah, but but you know you got to be practical about it. If you're going to be working, yeah. like get it wet, get it wet instead of yeah. on the ground, and it's yeah. gonna good, good you know, idea. But it's only gonna hold the heat until it starts transferring. You know, same thing with uh, the heat blocking putties. Like they're only gonna hold the heat until they've evaporated all the water out of them, and because mm-hmm. that's the key to those heat blocking putties is they have moisture in them, and the the putty right. itself, you know, kind of traps the but moisture and I and thought... allows it to absorb it. I thought I, I either read this or we talked about it at some point in time. That that heat blocking putty doesn't it wick water like once the water closest to the hot surface uh, evaporates, doesn't the water like in the back part of the putty or whatever you want to call it wick towards the heat? Well, yeah, because water's naturally gonna go From to the dry head. stuff, right? Yeah. And okay. It's gonna absorb yeah. into that. So, yeah, that's that's the whole wicking purpose as it goes through. So I've never heard that, but it totally makes sense uh hot dam yeah i i think i've heard of that too there's thermo trap there's there's a couple rector different oh, yeah, down, right? hot I think, dam. greg i think rector still makes that one but we use the usual refrigeration technologies what's it called what right that's why i do it anyways i see sequest if i throw a piece of sheet metal under it wouldn't the sheet metal just heat up i think you're being either sarcastic or no no I, i've i've done it i've been there like the you know you go to some package units and the, they put this copper line right in the corner with insulation and you're trying to like you know a solenoid or something there i put a piece of i've i've used a license plate and it just i get that hot because that's like tin or whatever that is and it, it burns quick i've used sheet metal and you can't like you said you can't stay on it a lot but yeah. it helps you just to not burn whatever's behind interesting yeah it, it's it's so funny when my family leaves all hell breaks loose my freaking dog is outside just barking at something god knows why they can't just shut up <sighs> so you got two dogs three cats two cats two cats yeah my family went to like a play tonight one of the friends my my wife and my daughter are back from their vacation but they went is to it a like play. a school play yeah a school play oh, one okay. of my daughter's friends is in the play so they're all going we you guys ever time. go to like an adult play what i would consider like an adult yeah. play like dude i saw wicked at the pantages in hollywood yeah. that was amazing uh amazing i'm curious about that i've never been to one but I, i'd be curious it's, it's a blast dude you will be it. singing along you will absolutely have a good time so i don't know about singing you will be singing dude I don't know any of the words 100%. to those songs. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but it was absolutely. I, I'm singing show tunes all the time now. So, it's what's 100%. that Disney Disney movie? Uh, zombies cheerleaders or something like that. What's I have that no idea. Called? That's Disney is zombies and cheerleaders. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a fun play on zombies oh. and uh, like Monster High sort of thing. But it's zombies and cheerleaders, and my kid watches it all the time. And dude, oh. legit, the the is there's three movies, and I think they're working on a fourth. The first and second movie, like the the soundtrack to those two movies, legit off the chain, as the kids would say, <laughs> complete fire. Like it's it's fantastic. I love all the songs on there. Like me and my kid used to listen to them all the time. Hundred percent. If you want to watch, you can watch it at home. Greatest Showman that has an amazing soundtrack with Hugh Jackman. Huge, oh, I was gonna say, Great I've one, never dude. watched that show because you, it you looked... should watch it. And your kids can watch it too, or your kid can watch it. It's What's it even movie. about? It looks like it's just a musical. You want to know what it's about? Is um Barnum and Bailey, the circus? Yeah. It's how it started. That's exactly what that show's about. But isn't there like just a bunch of singing? Yeah, but it's about <laughs> how the Barnum part, uh, whatever P Barnum, whatever his name is. How hold on, hold on. We got breaking news here. All right. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but Ryan is <laughs> an all around honest guy. You know, like yep. people probably don't say that enough, but. I've always, I've always felt a certain way about Ryan. 
He's a cool he's guy. Probably, he's probably feeling that movie <laughs> Disney vibe that whatever you there just There you go. That's why. He agrees with me. We probably share the same love for this soundtrack, whatever the name yeah. of that movie is that I can't think of right now. <laughs> Zombies and cheerleaders. But no, 100% go watch Greatest Showman. And that's a, it's totally worth it. So great, it great seems, one. Seems super gay. I feel like I have to cut all the nipples out of my shirts before I do that. And go watch it, and then just sit there and rub oh my nipples my the whole time. God. I'm going no. to. Uh, so I, I said like I was that's missing what you the do. show. I said I was missing the show next week. It's my wife's 40th, and we're going to Vegas. How is so she like, feeling about that? Is she uh, like one of those girls that's hung up on age? Like, is she like yeah. no? She's just like whatever. I just been teasing her, telling her she's finally going to be as old as me. See, because so, I mean that's age. But I be careful, Chris. Like you give me a lot of good advice about the womanly stuff, which. That last bit of advice that you, that you gave me. Did I tell you about that? You told me you apologized. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let me you clue don't need the audience. To go into, yeah. yeah, yeah. I won't go into detail, but let's just say that there are times in my house that I am overly That's sarcastic right. with my giant, fat, pregnant wife, and <laughs> oh. she gets offended. And then I tell the guys, I'm like, I can't believe she was offended by that. And like Chris is like, what do you, what do you mean you can't believe that? I said, you're a complete dumbass, bro. You yeah. fucked up. That's exactly yeah. what I told him. I was like, bro, you fucked up. Like, you need to apologize. Turns out. <laughs> turns out I did. Yeah, whatever. Turns out I did. So, yeah, I apologized and made that all better. Where is it going with that story? It was leading into something else. I don't know. Somebody mentioned in chat about uh, the a Nordine 2.5 ton with a 12 by 12 slot. Michael could probably help me out here. Well, someone else in chat. But weren't those those washables? They had those washable fil <laughs> filter trays, those metal trays. They're made for those. And that's why they're so little small. Those cloth, whatever you wash. I don't know. Anyways, he'll find hmm, the cloth. Yeah, you know, those ones you put them in the metal cloth. You, you The media, you wash them after. I haven't seen hmm. one of those in a long time. No. But that's what they are made for, and they from manufacturer, twelve by twenty. You know what's more frame. interesting than that, though? What? I had to custom make my own filters today. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I uh, I was doing a PM today on a couple of rooftop units, and I it True. was the one actually it was one that I I think I sent you guys yeah I sent you guys a video of it where they had put I swear to God two or three tubes of silicone around the filter panel. And oh. I finally got it off. I finally peeled it off, got all the shit out of the way, and I got it off. And I looked inside there, and there was a 16 by 25 by 2 filter. Two of them, I could see the one in the back, and then a 14 by 25 by 2, just one on the bottom side. It's an older Linux unit. I'm like, cool. That's the filters I need. So I go, and I get them. I come back, and I pull them out, and I notice the one behind it is squished up like quite a bit. Like It's squished in there pretty good. I'm like, why is it so squished? I don't understand. Like, Did they fall on top of it before they put it in there? All right, whatever. So I pulled it out and put the new ones in there. And the 16 by 25 by 2, it was like two inches too long on the end of it. Oh, no so way. I, <laughs> yeah, what I essentially needed was either 15 by 25s or a 16 and a 14. But yeah. uh, I ended up just fucking chopping it. Chopping then, it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We then, totally forgot to comment about the fucking travesty that happened this week. Like, we call Jason? legitimately were let down and fucking like ran over oh, by someone oh, we thought was a friend blue on oh blue on i was gonna mention over. that thank you for mentioning oh, yeah. what they do again over. i i'm looking at my phone and somehow i i happened to notice there was a blue on advertisement it was when they were on the overtime show they fucking edited it to where it was just Adam oh and yeah the from blue on they cut everybody else out and they're using it as their fucking advertisement nobody uh -huh. even said a single thing asked us anything i called them out on social media too i was no like tags huh? what the fuck nobody nobody even said anything nope. what the fuck you know i was kind of hoping and this is probably on us but i was kind of hoping that we would have a little bit more of an in-depth relationship with blue on because i mean they yeah. seem like cool dudes yeah and uh like they gave us some of their stuff to test out and we never ever did anything with it and i never got any i never went anywhere with it unfortunately test out. what did they give you access to that stupid app yeah the ai oh. chat oh okay. the, the, chat. the chat yeah the chat bot the ai tech support and we were supposed to like look at it and then i'll blah, still do blah. it i'll still try it out i just gonna get to it yeah i i just i don't know it's not that I haven't had time necessarily. I can make time. I just haven't had the motivation to do anything with it. 
Yeah, but it's for advertisements. I get it. You're saying it's public, no, but it's I, for advertisements. House, yeah, house. I don't give a shit. I was more laughing about it. Like, they just yeah. legitimately started using it as their fucking advertisement. And so was, it just made me laugh. I don't give a fuck, dude. Like, I was upset because they cut me know. out. Like, just, yeah. They but cut cool everybody out except Adam. Something, but though, the hilarious hey thing is they yeah. don't even know because everybody that was at their company when I had a problem with them years ago yeah. is not even there anymore. But they don't even know that like I had a problem. I actually blocked Blue on for an advertising on my YouTube channel at one point. So again, I'm sharing all this stuff just as it's a funny thing. I don't have a beef with them. I don't care. I'm not asking yeah. them to take down their video. We don't give a fuck. Like but whatever. The legality, the legality of it. If it was like a bigger company, wouldn't they would have like they would have to ask for permission because they get sued, right? It's I don't paid. think you can sue, dude. All it's I know hard, is dude. I finally I got my sun play. hat. I got my baseball cap. And they even sent me a, a beanie. So Blue yeah. On's right by That's me. All you care about. <laughs> That's all I care about. Oh, and pretty soon, yeah. if we get this next sponsor on board with us, we're going to have to stop wearing sunglasses, guys. So oh, the funny gosh. thing. If we're going to have oh. amazing, amazing eyelashes. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we got a sponsor oh. that makes this eyelash little device that's going to just Why boom, would even pop bother? your eyelashes out. So Steve what? from Everything HVACR said they gave him a beer at AHR. So Adam go. and I finally made it over to beer their booth because we wanted to go say hi to everybody and they fucking left early on Sunday or mm -hmm. the last day. Me and Adam get there and we took a picture. There was nobody at the booth. Yeah. and Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember that. That's that meme that I made where it was yeah. something like when you let the, your AI chat run the show or something like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bunch That's of guys. Good. Bunch yeah, where that, it. where did that makeup uh thing come from? Like, where did that I seen it in the chat? Like, who, where are they? So, I don't know. You know, some Chinese company or something. But overtime that, uh, email? No, no, it came directly to my email. My curious oh. HVAC guy email. They, they apparently, they said. Long story short, they said that they were impressed with my TikTok content and thought that I would be, um, a good person to review their product. And their product was a uh, heated lash extender for your eyelashes you know you just brush it on there and yeah. makes your eyelashes pop so i was like fuck yeah bro send me one of them send me four of them bitches to an extent <laughs> uh you're right and again house like i'm not i'm just more or less busting their balls about that yeah but i'm legit angry house if you want to know technically anything you put on youtube is the property of youtube you have the right to take it down mm -hmm. but um that's how youtube so i i technically can copyright them like, and you can technically go into the overtime thing and say these people took the video and YouTube will make them take it down. But again, we're not, we don't yeah. care. But yeah, when you I put it on care. YouTube, it's a little bit I different. Don't. We don't give a fuck. If I had two shits, I wouldn't give one of them about this situation. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. These guys stole all the beer they're saying. No wonder there was no beer. Uh, Steve yeah. and Ryan. Man. Man. They're like, when are these guys going to leave? I yeah, got I to know, see right? Steve and Ryan both at uh, AHR, so that was cool. Oh, nice. I really hope I can make it to the symposium this year. That would be super tits. Do you know what it's it'd be like? So like awkward people. and weird is I'm 99% sure my family's going to the symposium, and we're going to oh, rent an yeah. Airbnb. You should come stay with us, and it would be 100%. awkward. Weird, dude, dude, 100. Percent I will totally do that, dude. <laughs> we'll do that. So, I will spend so that, a day. Hiding under your bed just for the sole purpose of like when you and Jill finally go to bed, I'll just pop out as like roll out. Hey, what are you guys doing here? What are you guys doing? Playing with GI Joes? Hey, Chris. Yeah, hey. dude, I'll just I'll stay there all day and everybody like, where's Bill at? We're just for that one moment. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would be and worth videotape it, to it too. Oh, my 100%. God. Yeah, we'll make my whole family will be awkward because my wife's brother's coming down with their kid and his wife. And then we were talking about all getting an Airbnb. So the whole yeah, extended family, super awkward. Like, yeah, my friend's gonna come stay with us. Who's your friend? Uh, it's this guy I met once. Like, literally, I met him one time. You know, I'll show Here up. I'll have like a white T-shirt with like a bunch of cuts in it, all covered in blood and stuff. <laughs> like the collars all pulled down, and so awesome. it's called the Animal House. So, what would this be called? The problem is, is that um, I will definitely be going to the Animal House at least one night too to go hang out for sure. So. I will definitely go with you. I don't know if I'd like, even if I was invited though, I don't know if I'd want to stay the night. It seems crazy. Hmm. No, it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I would. It genuinely yeah. is. The problem is, is that if you're like, for me, I really, really wanted to pay attention at the symposium. The animal house kind of needs to be its own event, like in mm -hmm. its own way. So, yeah, that's mm. true. 
yeah interesting yeah. kind of does that's cool it'll be cool in houses on misfits for sure cool pineapple house that was actually you know the first symposium that we went to and we we all rented an airbnb and oh, rick stayed yeah, with us yeah. i was worried about that because i was afraid that we were going to have an overtime place that everybody thought it was going to be like a giant party and i'm not a big party person so i was like yeah, i don't know i used to be yeah i'm not you know what speaking of rick rick if you're watching i don't care but um <laughs> speaking of rick i was surprised at how like germaphobish this guy was oh yeah like well you know like me and him had to share a shower not always at the same time but sometimes bill like, left his pubes everything. all over everything dude everywhere like it was ev like i would just get out of the shower and it's like somebody put carpet in the shower right but i, I was a gentleman like i cleaned up after it and like but i swear rick went in there with that magnifying glass he's like what is this bill and he'd bring it out with a little <laughs> pair of tweezers like i found this I found this. I'm like, calm He's just down, busting Rick. your balls, dude. I'm like, oh. Calm down, Rick. It's like, you'd be lucky. Like, you should, you should thank me for that because now you're not going to slip in there with all that hair on the bottom of the That's bathtub. It's nice. funny. You know, it's so funny too because um, when you actually meet, when we actually met each other, you know, when I met, I've hung out with Rick a few times. Um, it's so funny because some of the person that we are all are we all are on social media right. has it like is is somewhat of our personality but there's a lot more too so when you actually hang out with someone you're like oh oh i didn't you know i didn't realize you know i realized cool. did that yep 100 and you know what i didn't realize that you know i thought it was just going to be during the chat you know like our super secret private chat when you guys make fun of me all the time but like when we met in person that's all you guys did was make fun of me like 100 Hundred percent. The whole time, all they were doing was making fun of me. They were making fun of me because I of I, how early I got up. They made fun of me because I took you a shower. made your bed like before we even <laughs> woke up. Like you made your bed. I'm like Chris, you don't work here. You're not housekeeping. Relax, bro. And he's just sitting there with his his little arms folded on his bed, just waiting for us to wake up. Like, hey, you guys. Yeah, didn't Adam call him Norman Smiley or something? Sociopath is what it was like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He and then the dude brought like I don't know what legit seven microphones, like nine yep. cameras. Like we're filming an episode that. of Mori Povich or something. I'm like, you don't need all that stuff, I man. Stop doing we're it. I I I just get too excited and you travel with so much shit. In the beginning of YouTube and stuff, I used to buy so much random BS, and I'm just like, that's dumb. Why did I buy that? Yeah. Although I did just buy something else, which is pretty stupid and pretty ridiculous. <laughs> but um, let me show you. Oh yeah, you yeah, yeah. So much. Came in today, yeah. so. I did just buy my smart glasses so I can be a super secret. Uh, hey, what are those new uh, goggles that are out now where people are like immersed in their own little world? I forget the, the name of it. Um, the Apple thing, the VR. Yeah, the Apple oh, thing. VR. Yeah. Any of you guys uh, getting any of that? Dude, you know how I've much money that thing awesome. costs? No, I haven't. Like that four or five money. grand. Yeah, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> no. Man, how much do those glasses cost there? I mean, I those are uh, Jesus. Those, those are, are, the are the video glasses, meta right? Meta glasses. I think they were three hundred bucks. But you can make video with those. And yeah. Uh, audio oh, as well. Sixty second clips. 60 clips. That's it. Yeah, sixty second but, clips, or you can do a live stream. Let's say, can you live stream it? You can live stream and then record it, though. Yeah, but it's going to be in vertical because they don't they don't film landscape, so it's all vertical mm -hmm. content. You got the receipt for them. <laughs> do I got the receipt for them? Yeah. Oh my you god. Know you want to know how much trouble I went through to get those? I'm I can't return them. It was too much. Apple Vision Pro. That's what it was. There you go. Yeah, four thousand dollars. Apple Vision Pro. Yeah. Oh my gosh! What wow. is that? It's like the VR? first iteration. Four iterations later, they're going to be amazing. It's going to be like you're in the yeah. Oasis, and you're going to be freaking. I heard there's totally a lot of people be... really really angry because they can't. Uh, you can't use VR porn in there. They don't oh, play VR. No. Wow, I would imagine yeah. if you're spending four grand, you'd be a little upset if you couldn't do that. You know how many hookers you can get with for four grand and like have like <laughs> actual real life porn with a real person? Nobody wants to do that, Bill. I mean, Everybody instead you pay creeper. four grand for this, you download some sort of weird VR porn and you jack off into a coffee can and you're like, yeah, this is <laughs> great. I love my life. Oh, man. Weird. Yeah. Problems with steam here fire with commercial air now? handler unit drinks. I know it's... Good questions, I guess, today. Drain cycles, water migration, not running right. Two different manufacturers. Mo water migration on a steam humidifier. 
I've never question. touched a steam humidifier. You know what I find? I had a, an issue similar to this is the water. You have to check the um, how soft and how hard the water is. It's very really? finicky. Yeah. Like a water. To be honest with you, yeah, to be honest with the extra soft water in a steam humidifier, like I it was a big discovery at one time. I remember this actually. Only one time, extra soft water, it, it foams up. It foams up and foams, 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 foams. Eventually, you're gonna get water hmm. migration in the distributor tubes, and I, that was a that was a tricky one. But oh yeah, we have softeners, we have this, we have that, we have this. You can blah blah blah. But it was too soft and too corrected, so you have to check your levels and whatnot. You got to make sure you're not getting foaming, and that hmm. can't be too hard either. So I would check those. Yeah, well, yeah, it's very finicky when it comes to steam, especially on big scale, big steam humidifiers. Joe, did you shave your chest today? No, no, that's natural. You look like, like uh, baby's butt. Ah, that's no. not. That can't be natural, Joe. You're I, 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 no, I know, but 100%. no, one hundred percent. See that? Good point, Chris. How did ass. I not notice that? That's one hundred percent shaved right there. But no, I don't shave. I would <laughs> never shave. If you that. shaved your face all nice and neat, it looks like you lost seventy pounds. And then you're like, are you are you like on that? What's that one that like Ozempic. eats you from the inside? Ozempic. 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 <laughs> is those Zempic free in Canada? Is it part of your Canadian healthcare? Is like weight loss? like surgery for no. free and stuff <laughs> it, no like legitimate question when you have like universal health like you guys have there uh, yeah. or socialized yeah. health or whatever yeah if yeah. you want to get like weight loss surgery is that covered if you want to get a uh, boob job is that that's covered a good question actually. Mm, not probably boob, not I don't think boob. cosmetic no yeah, probably not cosmetic. weight loss if you push hard enough i don't you know, see why not maybe affecting your health maybe is 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 drug is drug use um are they considered having a disease like addicts oh yeah yeah it's a disease they consider here it a disease there mm, that's a good question I would, it's a protected I would disease you. here so i want to go to grocery food. stores to see what kind of food you guys got hmm. no you don't gotta um, wait eight years it's not bad michael i don't know everybody says i gotta wait yeah some certain things you gotta wait but see because i think one of the reasons we don't have it at all we don't Sorry. have uh we don't have health care here, free health care rather from the government or anything like that, you know, just provided for the public at no charge is because a majority of the public are just fucking so unhealthy. Like it would oh, yeah. it would bankrupt the United States to try to take care of some of these people because of their lifestyle. Yeah, but right, again, right. like their lifestyle is a byproduct of their surroundings in their life. And like you go to our grocery store, ninety percent of it is just processed garbage, you know. So that's why I wonder in Canada, since the I government's know. foot in the all the the healthy stuff like are they like well if we're going to pay for your health insurance um you guys are going to eat better you, you're not going to be a bunch of fat asses like those guys down south i feel like right. my family would thrive in canada i need to move to canada do it we're nice I, people i'd move to, i could survive in canada i think i think yeah, i'd you're, get along you're far north you can you're used yeah. to it. you're right next to us you're actually probably more north than me to be honest that's a good Honestly. point um yeah jason was talking about the softness yeah i think what they use jason i think the sodium in the water is like um is used like for a uh, conductor sodium ions or whatever so it can't be the too soft it can't yeah. be too hard how do you correct you that then conductivity or whatever but you anyways. have to add chemical you have to add minerals back into the water i think that's what like reverse osmosis and all that stuff i think you're some like yeah it's you gotta have the right minerals i'm not sure how it? that side works but oh yeah has to be the right share. levels, not too hard, not too soft. Keep talking. I'll pull some pictures up from that ice machine thing. I could share those. I, like I the hard forget. water, you, you open up a steam humidifier, and you have hard water without soft. Dude, you'll get buildup of like scale tenfold. Scale, mm -hmm. it'll just kill the start being an insulator. Yeah, the efficiency where you get loss of efficiency. Uh, start screwing up all your heat sensors and it's just so yeah i know bad. if you have if you have water that's too pure i've heard it can affect like things like water sensors water probes yeah nice machines exactly. things oh that just add salt Steve, something like that yeah so it probably does that yeah, one of those procedures that's what probably they do they get rid yeah, of the, Clive shit says the water there is ridiculously pure hmm. Hmm. why how yeah, that's a good question. I Probably, I don't know. It's naturally filtered. He doesn't live in a yeah. He doesn't live in a place where it's just all. Well, you think coming down the garbage. mountains? Yeah, it gets, picks yeah, up minerals, right? It. Yeah, it filters yeah, it, but it picks up yeah. minerals at the same time. 
I'm not like, you know. I'm not a scientist. I just play one on TV. <laughs> come on. You just you have to still water is good. Yeah. But yeah. Like, that's actually really good for the small ones too. People use it. But Wait, what are Chris yeah. A is doing again? I'm pulling those pictures know. up from that ice machine thing. Hold on. Give me just Oh a yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I gotta wait for it to send right now. Oh, okay. Come on. Uh Mickey Mewtwo. Did you see the research paper that showed that people living in areas with lithium in the water were happier? And less likely to commit suicide. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, hmm. I want to commit suicide, but I'm not super happy. Maybe I could no. get some lithium. Some lithium water. It's probably better than my, what is this garbage? Berry flavored water. Limestone, yeah, in Kentucky. Yeah, that's a lot of people. All right, I'm going to pull these up right now. Let me share my screen. So I got this service call. Yeah, chill. Yep. Let me make sure nothing is on the screen that shouldn't be. No, I've been yeah, no reflections. Be, no, to share my screen and then bad things Probably happen. Earlier. Why is it showing it like that? That's weird. Whatever. Oh, yeah, this one. So I got a service call. Ice machine that we just installed like two weeks ago. They said it wasn't working and water was pouring out everywhere. My technician gets there. The machine was tore apart by a rat. Brand new ice machine, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Rat got in there and was just eating everything. That is nuts, man. Is that not insane? And then look at wow. this. He ate the sensor wires. Like that dude, that rat wasn't building a nest. He was building the fucking apartment complex. Yeah. All that shit he was chewing. Like, what is he gonna do with all that? It, it doesn't, it can't taste good. He couldn't have been yeah. eating it for food if he's in a restaurant, right? Is that not crazy? And that was a brand new ice machine. Um, we had to go out there. Surprisingly, it was just mostly brand insulation new. damage. They ate the hose, huh. that sensor. We put all that stuff on there and the machines are you gonna reinstate? Yeah, we we didn't we just use foam tape, dude, because you can't yeah. buy the insulation pieces from Manitowoc right. and it would have been a nightmare. So split oh. there, you have to open the pipe. I wonder what there must be something in the insulation that they're smelling or tasting, that's some kind of chemical they that attracts. I don't know. They the wraps are drawn nest. to insulation, dude. They just eat oh. it. They use it for nesting. Um yeah, and they grab all that crap. But yeah, seriously, that was a freaking giant rat went through two brand new machines and just ripped them a new one. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Jeez. I thought we did something wrong too, but nope. It you was like when my guy pacing. called me and he's like, it was a rat. I was like, yes, it wasn't us. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Dude, Imagine like, that. Damn it, a callback. Hey, Ray. Yeah, a new machine for sure. Hey, yep. do you guys celebrate Easter up in Canada, Joe? Yeah. Via yes, the plus class. What? Dia de Pascua. Oh, oh, Pascuas, yes. Dia yeah. de Pascua. You guys, uh, what are you doing for it? What are you doing up there? Okay, yeah, get some family together, you know. Do you guys like hide moose eggs, eggs or something? Or what? moose what eggs? Yeah. Hide <laughs> moose eggs. Yeah. You're getting Actually, close to there, Sean. <laughs> Minky Moo, too. I do have something new. It's right, uh, okay. right there. Which one? You got well, you to show Which it. one? There's like 700 new ones, hold dude. On, hold on. Yeah. We're gonna solo lay out. You could probably bring us out, Bill. I don't know if you want to stick around or not. At least Bill's wearing pants. That's true. On the spot. So I picked these up last week from a, a store. It's McDonald's when they had a camping set. There's Grimace on my little canteen, right? And then this little guy here. This is. I think these are ninety-two. Nope, eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. So this is my little. I look, oh, dude, it like broke. No, I'm just kidding. It was always like that. Because it's old. Of them? This one's nothing. It's like a pan. It's supposed to be a pan, but it's pretend. You don't put this on an oven because it'll melt. It's plastic, okay? Don't be stupid. Okay. It'll melt. So we got my little pan right there, right? Well, now there's a no sticker one. on there to say do not put on fire. So Yeah. Look at this. I got my spoon. And these all came in Happy Meals when I was a kid, man. Now, I only collect the toys oh, I had God. when I was a kid. Yeah. Knowing that Bill, knowing Bill's yeah. luck, you know how some of those, some of the toys nowadays, guys are getting callbacks and they're saying, oh, something was made of this, giving you, he's giving you, give you cancer or whatever. Probably all these old toys are like made with like, uh, and then this one, you know, with asbestos. And any of you, you know, uh, old guys recognize them. what this is? I'll let you guys guess no. before I tell you what it is. What is that? It goes along with the camp set. Um, Nobody? 
I'll give it a second. The toy post have, was the prize as a kid. <laughs> yeah, but Clive, you might be right. Like, might be right. Well, I didn't have this. Uh, I can't point to it right there. Uh, let's see. My hands don't work. Someone put uh, Dave said expanding cup. A cup. Yep. Jason. You guys are good. You guys are good. All that one. Oh, that. Oh, cool. Cool. Those ones. Boom. That's awesome. Yeah, you got it, bud. Honestly, that is good for camping. Honestly, it's yeah. compact. So I have my own little collection thing. When I was a little kid, I remember these things being at McDonald's, and it's these these cups, these perimeter oh, yeah. cups. I don't you would buy the Camp yet. Snoopy cups, dude. And they have I loving it right all now. the characters, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I remember these totally. You, that was also when McDonald's had really good cookies yeah. that you could buy. They were amazing. I got one cups. cup right there. Okay. So I have the entire set of these. And I wore them out completely to where the, they were just like a, a yellowish pink all the way down. You couldn't even make out anything. I wore them out so much. My family got me a brand <laughs> new set for Christmas. And it had one of them that I didn't have. So I was super stoked, right? And then my daughter the other day, uh, we also have these little cups from the 50s, these little itty bitty things. Mm -hmm. And then my wife got me these too, these Mickey Mouse ones, because I really dig them. So then my daughter the other day is starting to look around on the internet and she's like, dad, that's lead paint. Oh, I see. Like, Wait, really? It's all <laughs> lead paint. And I wore these ones out a whole set completely sucking on them. Paint. But it, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that and explains it. New ones. And I'm like, do I get rid of them or do I just nah. deal with it? Just like, don't rub them off and like eat it or nothing. Those are like my favorite cups. But yeah, it's all lead paint. Yeah, it's you'll be annoying. fine. I guess I mean, our parents I wonder, had, had worse. I wonder what kind of lead and chemicals are in this old school plastic. 100% bad stuff, dude. Yeah, 100% so. yeah, bad stuff. Yeah. Tom was trying to catch up. He's saying the little guy with glasses. Eric, I think at the same time, Zach, the old guy, him and his wife did funny skits. Oh, wow. Tom's way he's... behind on the stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's trying to catch up. Good for him. He, he's, yeah. a trooper. <laughs> he's a trooper. He's That's trying. Funny. Yeah, but anyways. All right. Well, I think right, it's time man. we wrap this up, yeah. guys. Well, it's gents, it's been a good time hanging out with you. Uh, for everybody yeah, that wanted to know, people yeah. were just asking. Adam just went out to dinner with his family tonight. That's why he wasn't oh, yeah. here. So, and yeah. I won't be here next yeah. week. I'll be in Vegas with my wife. So, so don't I don't be back next that. week. Yeah, because oh, next week, no. I, yeah, that's right. I will be here next week. Oh, good. Thank God. I was gonna say nobody's <laughs> gonna watch if you're not here, Chris. <laughs> Nobody watches this for me, dude. Nobody watches this for me. Hey, Ray Ray said, did you get his email? Yes, I did, Ray. Um, I I have to read through it and stuff, but I'll I'll send you an email back about that, and then we'll talk. Cool. Mm -hmm. So right It'll on. Yeah, it was a good show. First email Chris has ever responded to, guys, just so you're aware. Bill pretends like he knows who I am or something. Like he has this on the inner inside. thing. Like hey. he has this inside scoop on the videos platform. When somebody's in you, in you, you know, you know some <laughs> stuff. I'd be like, hey, I can feel your heartbeat. I agree, yeah. Mickey. I swear, I swear that like Bill could literally answer questions in my Later, YouTube Nicholas. chat and nobody would even know it was me. Nobody like, would know. Kind of like oh, yeah. he already does that. So, yeah. you know, it's weird. But he doesn't. But like, kind of like he does, you know? Like, thanks, bud. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my key phrase. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. So, thanks for the nice words, bud. Yeah. I want to get a shirt that says that now. Yep. Facebook user says, what's up, fellas? See, let's just. Hmm. Like here it doesn't show. Like, what? what why do they have to? Oh, they have to like be signed in or something. We were saying, Chris. Yeah, yeah, you gotta sign in a weird way or something like why, that. Why does it bother you so much, Joe? Let it out, man. What's going I on? I see. What, what I'm trying to guess who that is because somebody always what? just say fellas. So I'm trying it's to get Logan Marshall from Blue On. Dude, Logan, we were just we were just talking you about you. The advertising <laughs> thing. Yeah, we were just talking crap about you. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, I wasn't. Logan. Of course, everybody else was. We were just telling everybody how Blue On stole our show and yeah it and made it their advertising Dude, we were jealous yeah. yeah because you guys only showcased adam on your yeah on you your left me out yeah. i mean if you left yeah. joe out eh, you know that's fine if you nobody left cares out, eh. but me and bill and adam we needed to be in there yeah 100 percent. oh thanks it went we're from the the show, yeah bill out yeah then well if you leave just bill and us in it okay yeah <laughs> we're the vibe yeah 100 percent. uh no nah, but we're just messing around we don't give a crap but all right, well, let's wrap it. Appreciate you. Appreciate everybody for <laughs> coming to the show. Sponsorship.
<laughs> Have a happy Easter out there, guys. Bad call. Yep. Yeah, make sure you find your Easter eggs, all that baby Jesus stuff. Yep. Baby Jesus, all that stuff. Easter bunny. Is this wait, when is the one where you put the ashes on your forehead? What is that? That's, isn't that today? It's Wednesday. That's Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday. I oh, guess that makes sense, huh? Ash Wednesday. Let's get out of here. Does, wait, but I don't know. understand that. So does that happen every Wednesday? So do they do they have to cremate a person specifically for that? To get the no. ashes, or how does that we're not, work? We're not no, trying to be no. derogatory. I'm genuinely curious. And I'm no, not, I am people. actually being yeah, derogatory. Yeah, no. We're not going to no, talk no. about this. Guys, it's been a great show. Come back stuff. next week for the great air. <laughs> <Baby> <laughs> Overtime.